Have you been thinking about making the move to Phoenix, Arizona and want to learn more about the different cities? Well, in today's video, we are exploring Peoria. Peoria is a pretty large sized city and there's definitely different vibes from like, say the main portion of Peoria to the north portion. Today we are in the OG, we'll say, Peoria, and we're gonna be checking out the different commercialized areas and some of the different neighborhoods, definitely diving into some of the non-HOA neighborhoods, which I know you guys are always on the search for. So if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay guys, let's get this party started. Um, like I said, we're in Peoria and I am braving one of the absolute most busiest portions of Peoria for you guys so you guys can see exactly what this whole area has to offer. So like I said, we're kind of like in this, we'll say there's, it's just Peoria, right? There's North Peoria, which I've already done a video on. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link that at the end of this video so you guys can watch that as well. North Peoria has a completely different vibe than this portion that we're in right now. It is kind of like the OG Peoria. It's a little bit older, um, but they also have a lot of new shops. So it just depends kind of where you're at and what you're looking for. So right here is lots of shops. Um, there is the spring training field over here. I forget what it's called. I think it's Peoria Sports Complex, I'm pretty sure. And I'll pop up a map so you guys can see exactly where I am. I need to get better at that on these like driving tour videos so you guys can see where, you know, we're, we're cruising through. On the left hand side here, we have tons and tons of restaurants. So we have Firebird, Texas Roadhouse, uh, Buca de Pepo, highly suggest not going there because <laughs> the last time I went there was kind of kind of uh, ran down um what else is over here cheesecake factory that one's always a good one Harley Davidson store um Bubba's which is like a seafood place I think they have that at other locations too famous Dave's my point being is there's tons and tons of food spots right here and then there's also a movie theater over on this side as well in this area, there is also an ice, an ice skating rink. So if you enjoy that, then there's that. Um, or if you're just looking for somewhere to go to get cool, that could be a really good spot to do that. And basically the next like, I don't know, 10 minutes of driving is really like tons and tons of shopping, tons of restaurants and just cool places to hang out. There's also a mall here, Arrowhead Mall which has tons of stores obviously and then we have chick-fil-a target um i think there's a best buy over here like literally anything that you could ever want is gonna be right here off of what's called bell road which is one of the main portions of this whole like peoria area and like i was saying it's it's a very busy area because this is kind of where majority of the shopping is and even like for me growing up where i lived in goodyear or litchfield park or wherever i lived at that time if you guys are not new to this channel you know i've moved a lot when i was growing up um so point being is this is kind of where the closest mall is so a lot of people come here um, not just necessarily people that live in Peoria so keep that in mind too this is like I said a busier area but it's nice also location wise to say like Phoenix if you want to if you do work in downtown Phoenix or anywhere really in Phoenix Peoria would be a really good spot for you because you're not driving super super far to get to work but you're still definitely living in like a suburban area um on the left hand side here is where that best buy was oh there's a trader joe's here which is really cool i know my trader joe's fans <laughs> they want to know where the trader joe's are looks like they've added a portillo's over here canes a couple different um hotels discount tire the habit red lobster ross literally anything and everything that you've probably thought of is going to be over in this corner. I'm going to cruise through one of the shopping centers. If I did every single store in here, we'd be here for an hour. So that's a little bit too long, but just know that they pretty much have anything and everything and we'll cruise through this and then we'll get to checking out some of the neighborhoods. There's a lot of non HOA 
homes in this area and then the homes really are ranging in tons of different prices and also they're ranging in different ages peoria this portion of peoria is a little bit older overall but there are homes that are brand new as well it's just going to be dependent on your price point so let's cruise through here and then head over to one of those neighborhoods also have more and more and more shopping so some of those places are like cafe rio mad greens um they have a bye 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 baby a world market barnes and noble um a couple different nail places some more restaurants like this whole strip i'm gonna even pop up some of the other stores that we aren't gonna be able to go to today because again it would take <laughs> forever to go through all of them um but we didn't drive to any of the mall so i want to pop up some of the shops that are going to be in that area for people that do want to be you know close to a lot of these amenities that the peoria area has to offer if you're looking for something that's not super busy this older portion of Peoria would not be a really good fit for you because it does get fairly trafficked over here versus like North Peoria. It's a little bit quieter up there. And like I said, I have a video about North Peoria, so you can always refer back to that one, but that will probably be a better fit, even though it's a little bit more expensive. So you'll have to just see kind of depending on where your budget is where you may or may not end up. Like I said, here in this portion of Peoria, you have homes that are literally any single category right you have some new builds here over on the left hand side that are kind of like a townhome style you have older single family homes you have horse property you have huge uh non-hoa acre lots you have what else i mean obviously there's just there's a lot of housing over here and then there's also some really cool like estate properties that are ranging closer to two million there's homes that are closer to you know three thousand five hundred even homes with basements i mean it's crazy all the options that you have so if you're looking for options in all different price points and you want to be close to phoenix too um and just like close to everything i would totally live in peoria i do like a little bit more not as busy as this portion of peoria i would like north peoria or like how where i live right now it's a little bit more like i mean you're definitely suburban here for sure but i like a little bit less people around so it'll just be really dependent on what you're looking for and that's kind of what we go over in our zoom calls so I really dive into exactly what kind of neighborhood would even make sense for you and your family you know if you're looking to be in a non HOA but you want these specific factors of a non HOA um, 
you know, maybe portions of Peoria are going to work for you, but maybe it's not. It just depends so much on your guys' specific family. And yeah, so that's why I always um, say reach out, even if it's like a year from now, guys, it doesn't matter because you can't. If you're a planner like me, which I feel like a lot of the people that reach out to me are planners, um, you're gonna need to be able to know even what the cities that you're gonna wanna look at because if you don't know, you don't know, guys. So that's my whole point. Right here, we are in a neighborhood. I believe this is not HOA. I'll pop up on the screen just verifying, but super pretty houses, super pretty neighborhood, really wide streets. Um, not every single house looks exactly the same. I know you guys love the non-HOA and sometimes with non-HOA homes, it's not always like the best neighborhoods in regards to like aesthetics, right? Because you can't, when you have a non-HOA, there's pros and cons to it. You can't control what your neighbor does to their home. So like, for example, if your neighbor paints their house purple, then it just is what it is. Um, but you can definitely tell a difference between a neighborhood that that I mean, this, that could definitely happen probably in this neighborhood. Will it happen? Probably not, right? But point being is neighborhoods are really important. Finding a non-HOA neighborhood that's really nice on the inside is sometimes hard to find. So this would be a really good fit for a lot of you guys. And it looks like they have, you know, their RVs out here. I know tons of people want to make sure that they can park their RVs outside. Uh, yeah, lots of RV gates, lots of RVs, a couple RV garages. Looks like some of these have guest homes in the back. Uh, pretty, pretty cute neighborhood. I like it a lot. And that's kind of what you can find in Peoria. And some of these homes are probably going to be closer to like the 90s range, like year built. Um, so if you do not want an older home or you don't want to deal with older home things, for example, like roof water heater, um, AC units, all of those problems that can occur whenever you have an older home. Keep that in mind and let me know because we won't be looking at older homes that need work, right? We want to make sure that the roof is already updated. The, you know, some of these bigger things, like for example, this home right here on the left, you guys could kind of see it a little bit, but that home is in this neighborhood where you have tons of older homes but it looks like it's been renovated or updated new roof probably and a lot of other newer things that are going along with that so keep that in mind too but let's head over now that we've done this like non-hoa neighborhood and you're probably going to be looking closer to the 800 price point in here um let's head over a little bit more south towards Thunderbird. Again, I will pop up a map so you guys can see exactly where we are. So you guys can see um, some other neighborhoods that are offered here. Right here on the left hand side we're heading into a newer build community gated neighborhood which is really cool but you're also right along some of these um one these homes right here on the right hand side those might be what's called an infill lot um i'm not positive but typically if a builder ends up like not needing those lots anymore they'll sell and then whoever can build onto those or an independent builder could also build onto those. So I'm not sure exactly what's happening with that one specifically, but right here in this little community, you're surrounded by some older homes and then also some homes with acreage, some horse property and things along those lines. If that's not what you're looking for, if you're looking for kind of like, um, what is it called? Cohesiveness, I guess is what, what I would probably say. If you're looking for all the area to look really similar, then this is probably not going to be the area for you. Granted, Peoria, because you're adding these, you know, Peoria has been around for a while. You're adding a lot of older homes or you're adding new homes into older home communities. So I don't think that you're going to have that same cohesiveness as you would have, say, in like Waddell or and even Waddell. Some of the homes are a little bit older or like Verado or Goodyear, where pretty much every single house looks really, really similar. You're not going to find that the same 
in some cases in Peoria. Not always, but even North Peoria, right? Where like majority of the homes are newer and they all pretty much look the same. I don't think that that's gonna be as easy to find in this portion. This community looks like it has RV garages. So again, if you're looking for an RV garage, it's not absolutely impossible. Typically they're a little bit more expensive, but I mean, depending, if you're willing to go out far, I saw some RV garage homes for like 400,000, which is absolutely insane. I really didn't think that that even existed, but apparently it does. So I'm happy that I was able to check that out. But again, they're a little bit further away. So just depends on what your family's looking for. So these homes, I'm not sure if they'll come with landscaping or not, but that's something that you guys gotta consider when you're looking at new homes, and this isn't necessarily a whole new home video, right? If you guys want to learn more about new homes, I love new homes, I work a lot with new homes, but there are some caveats to them and just things that you need to know before purchasing a new home. I have an entire video on that, maybe like two entire videos on that, so check that out when we're done here, but Something you need to consider when you're purchasing a new home is not every builder offers landscaping in the front and sometimes they even have requirements of how soon you have to have that home landscaped. So keep that in mind because those could be large costs. And even in the backyard, 99% of the time, you're not gonna have any sort of landscaping in the backyard. There are some more um, quote unquote affordable housing builders that do put at least rock and a couple plants back there but super limited on who is actually willing to do that. Um, definitely a little bit harder to find, but there's so many things about new homes that if you don't know, you don't know. And that's kind of where it comes into play of like, I help clients a lot with purchasing new homes, um, walking them through that process of the contract because it's different than you know a regular contract, walking them through the process of like picking out a lot, picking out all their upgrades if they do a builder that you know offers that kind of thing or even just coming down to timelines and reading the contract, reading the public report. Um, those new build reps can only sell those new homes. So where that comes into play is like, they only tell you what they have to tell you legally, not what they, not what you might wanna know, right? For example, let's say you're looking at homes in uh, Verado. We'll say that, one of my absolute favorite areas to look at homes. I sell new homes in there like crazy. I swear I have the new home reps like on speed dial. But my point is, is, if you went into a new home without a realtor, which you definitely should never ever do, but I want to explain why, is because that new home rep is not going to tell you about the jets. They might tell you in writing, but are you going to read the, you know, 60 page public report? Most people don't. I know 99.9% .9 of things that are going on in my area. Um, granted, and even at the end of the day, I'm gonna read the public report no matter what, and I'll tell you guys, but all of these things, like the, the new home sales rep works for the seller, they're not gonna tell you that. So just keep that in mind. Here we are in another portion of Peoria where you're having like acreage lots. Some of these are horse property. Looks like some of them even have some like workshops in the back. And the thing I like about Peoria too is they have a lot of older mature trees, which is kind of hard to find depending on where you're looking at, um, especially in like Goodyear, Litchfield Park, Avondale. There's some neighborhoods with it, but it's not as common as it is here in this like Peoria area because, you know, like I said, it's an older area. So you have a little bit more um, maturity going on. guys that's it for today's video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did pretty please hit the thumbs up button it really helps out my channel and gets my videos pushed to more people like you guys and if you want more content like this go ahead and subscribe i post videos every monday at 5 p.m arizona time of course and 
Mm, oh yeah, if you are interested in making the move here and you have questions, go ahead and reach out to me. My number and email are popping up. I also have a couple different links you guys can check out down below, whether it be scheduling an actual Zoom call with me or even just doing the relocation guide, which has some of my favorite cities, pet tips um, when in regards to the heat. What else do I have in there? Oh yeah, relocation, like how to relocate if you're more of like a visual, like you need to see it in writing kind of situation. That might be really good for you to download. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.